what's going on family so today i'm back with another i'm gonna like lightly well talk as quiet as possible we know i'm not a quiet talker but i felt like this would be a good idea i gotta make certain my baby's okay with it but i want to talk to her about getting her period because she's at the age where it should be coming very soon and i remember the fact that nobody had this conversation with me so i would have the conversation with my baby but i also would like to talk to y'all because some of y'all might be in the same situation i was in as a kid so let's call my baby in Wait, I got to also tell you what the damn video is about. It's not just about getting your period, but it's a back-to-school emergency kit female edition. We got some have a boys one soon. But this is for the females. I didn't want to have this video up sooner, but I've been busy and sick. Yeah, like I got sick and shit out of nowhere. I mean sick, sick. Not like, oh, little, <laughs> no, I was sick, but I didn't have the corona, so don't fucking say nothing. Anyway, let's call my baby. Key. She coming, y'all. Hold on. Hi. Hey. You're on camera. Um, hi. <laughs> y'all see she ain't even ready. She's not ready. So don't 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 say nothing about my baby's crew. She beautiful. She beautiful. Okay. Okay. Anywho in Kanani. Any hooting canelli, okay? I called you in here cause you know how I told you a little bit about your part. I want to have that conversation with you again, but like on camera if you're okay with it because nobody educated me. Mm -hmm. But I also, it's not just about that. It's a, a emergency, a back to school emergency kit for the females as of right now, okay? Can we talk about it on camera? She gave us her blessing, y'all. Clap it up for my baby. First things first, girls. Okay? Y'all okay. need... I don't know if y'all schools allow y'all to carry purses around. Are y'all allowed to wear like the little... We used to call it pouches back in the day. Like the little... Yeah, y'all go, yeah. We, we used to call it pouches. It's a fanny pack, but I don't know what y'all call them nowadays because they're revamped and all of that. Yeah, are are y'all allowed to carry them in school? I believe so, yes. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect for this. That is perfect for this because you need like a small little bag. Mm -hmm. Some schools also have a issue with security, so some might not allow y'all to carry um non clear that's the best the best non, way of saying it yeah non transparent yeah it got like they they want your shit to be transparent basically everything book bags bags whatever so if that's the case for your school get a, a clear little bag. that's the first thing mm -hmm. what else you need you should have two pads two 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 two, okay. two pads in the the pouch so you need two pads unless you are a tampon wearer and if you are a virgin wear pads do not wear no damn tampon you will not be wearing tampons you understand me no tampons but for the people who lost their b card already y'all might want to wear a damn tampon but I'm not okay with my baby wearing that until later on in life. And I'm sure a lot of y'all moms and dads want and wear, want y'all wearing tampons before then too. I'll explain what that is to you at a later date. You want two extra pair of drawers. Two extra pair of panties, y'all. Like the best damn no, I might have to get some damn drawers to show them how to fold it. I actually like to fold each corner in 
So corner in, corner in, and roll them. That's how they will fit perfectly in there. But you need to, you don't want them to be fancy draws either. Like, you, some of y'all already might be on your period, so you might know what I'm talking about. But for the girls who might just be getting ready to start. Okay, so you want, like I said, you want two extra draws. Roll them up, though. Don't just do the regular fold. You want to roll them up. Actually, that's a good way. I'll do an organization video later. But, um, you don't want them to be your fancy new ones unless you bought these underwear for the girls who's already like having their parents and stuff you know what i'm talking about you want some draws that you don't care about getting messed up so like you want them to be tight fitting too though because you feel more secure when you're wearing pants and you have draws on that's tight so you want your most comfortable tight fitting not fancy draws Okay. Right? Before I finish what goes in the bag, this is the stuff that you're going to need outside of the bag that you carry to school in your book bag, okay? You, if you live in the hot areas, you take you some short, extra shorts or an extra skirt. If y'all have a real winter like we do, two extra pair of pants. You want extra pants in your locker. She wears uniforms, so she's at the age where I need to go buy her double of each color because she she has. I'm making certain my baby is okay. All right, she will not be embarrassed. You understand? You understand? I understand. That's okay, as long as you understand. It's my baby. I love you, girl. Okay. Okay. So, she is going to have her extra pets in school, in her locker, ready. Okay? You also want, especially around the time where you're on your period, Gil, your urn goes down a lot in your body I already know since we are both nemics I have to make certain you get on urn pills once your start because your urn lowers a lot which makes you cold I mean you're cold we're cold regardless all the time but like it's worse like a lot worse I be in her chilling literally with a hoodie on, sweatpants, in my bed with a blanket on and still be cold. Am I lying? Y'all lucky I ain't got my robe on right now to be quite honest. But <laughs> that is honest to God the case. I don't get my parents right now because I'm on a certain birth control to where you don't get it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. But... You're going to definitely want to have an extra sweater or something in your locker just in case you forget your sweater at home, you know, or a hoodie. All right, back to the back. You want chapstick. The winter months dries your lips out. You don't have to have bad winters like we do. But wintertime, your lips get crusty. In the heat, your lips get crusty, okay? You already know I be having you like loaded with chapstick. But for y'all, get y'all some chapstick to keep in your, your little thick bag because crusty lips ain't cute. Y'all might like a boy in school or something, right? And you walk around there with some crusty lips. He gonna look at you like, bitch, what? Well, I ain't kissing you. Yeah. Some people's lips be so crusty to the point where boys don't want to even look at you. Girl, have you ever sat across from somebody with lips so crusty and you be sitting there like, oh, I want to pick them so bad for you? Like, I literally stare at people by accident 
with crusty lips because I want to peel them so bad. I pick my own lips. That's bad. But, like, I want to peel the other person's lip. Don't be having skin lifted in front of me. I want to peel it. <laughs> it really stresses me out, seriously. I be sitting there like, because I want to pick your shit. So you just be like, I legit be biting mine. Like, thinking I'm going, by me peeling my lip, I'm going to get your, your crust off your lip for you. The brain is just mysterious, okay? Especially yours. Shut up. <laughs> but you also a lot of schools don't want you to have gum there's a way to be sneaky and eat your gum I know how to do that I be doing it in class all the time but see look if you can't have gum you could get you some some uh um tic tacs tic tacs Mint. breath no. mints you know, don't be walking around there with no little funky. I don't want to sit next to you like this and you got funky breath. And then they, they have the nurse be like, so, yeah. And I, and I was like, yeah, that was so crazy. Swear, and don't they be this close? <laughs> I'm so like, close. dude, back <laughs> up, you smell bad. Like, I really do tell them to, like, baby, your breath don't smell that good to be this close. Stop it. Thank you. Help. Truth. I got a toothbrush you can have. I got extras. She has a lot. Funky breath ain't nice. It's not nice. She has a lot. <laughs> but what if somebody comes to your house, right, and they can't get home that night? They, they might need, they want to wake up, brush their teeth if they ain't funky. Funky people don't want to brush their teeth. Right or wrong? Moving on. It, uh-huh. Okay, so, the other thing. Midol, which is literally made specifically for being on your period. You can have, you, you should have either Midol, uh, Motrin, Ibuprofen, or Tylenol. Make certain you get your doctor's permission ahead of time, though. Because there are allergies out there that can prevent certain people from taking it you don't have any type of allergies to any medication so she's going to have her little mite all in her little bag Be uh, and that's because of what I said from the beginning you get cramps headaches uh, nausea um, mood swings all of that like that uh, I never I tell you, you might be lucky because, like, I never got any of that. The only thing that um, I always had was migraines, but I have migraines, period. It doesn't have to be because of a period. Um, cramping, I've probably experienced cramping, like, twice. So you've, like, never had cravings? I said the, the cramping and the headaches and stuff. But craving-wise, I did have cravings for, like, like sweet and salty together. By her mentioning the craving, this is a, a good time to mention, some of y'all might get cravings for chocolate. I hope I do. Like, that's a more common craving. I didn't... I, that wasn't me. It wasn't me. It never was me. But if y'all do, put put your little snack that you know you want inside your little bag. I'm going to say something. Because you're irritable without it. I can tell you that. I really hope I crave some chocolate because I love chocolate. You're ridiculous. You are truly ridiculous. <laughs> your next thing should be, I would say four. Four panty liners. And that's just to be extra but panty liners are really thin, like really thin. So they don't, well, honestly, not, none of the stuff that I mentioned is noticeable unless you ain't putting them on right. You know what I'm saying? But 
the reason why I mentioned them being thin is because they'll fit in the bag with the other stuff and no issue. If you are a tampon wearer, you should have a panty liner on as well. As a matter of fact, without being on your period or any of that, you should have a, a panty liner on. It protects your drawers from your discharge. Wear panty liners. Period. Just wear them. Thank you. But you should, I already taught her that though. I be having to get on her about putting them on. Because that also protects you from when offflow being ignorant, right? And she just bursts through the door. But honestly, all jokes aside, it protects your underwear from discharge on top of the fact that, let's say Aunt Flo does burst through the door. Hey, Lucy, how you doing? Truth. You have protection regardless. So, you're okay. Like, you want to prevent from having to use those extra drawers you carry. You want a small deodorant, a travel size deodorant. Obviously, you know that dollar Yeah. And you want them because you don't want to be funky. You could be having um, PE, physical education, you know, gym. Some of y'all might be cheerleaders, dancers. You might be a color guard, you know. You don't want to be funky. And then if you have a crush, what if you go around your crush and you stink? I, I want to have gym. But don't have gym, I have garden, so. But, um, sometimes you can, like, say if you're rushing in the morning and you throw on all your shit and you forget to put your deodorant on, you're saved by me. Because I'm telling you, have your small... Especially if you're on the bus. And you gotta sit next to people. Mm, mm, mm. I'm not... Well, yeah, we get on our bus right now. We have to sit alone in one seat. Oh, yeah, that's, we sit across. that's because of the situation that's happening right now. But normally, weren't you sitting next to your friends and all that? You know, like, I sat next to people who had funky ass underarms. I hope y'all wash y'all asses now, some of the people I'm talking to. I hope you really do. I used to tell you all the time, you need the other on. Most people want to get offended. Bitch, I ain't being mean. I'm just telling you, your underarm stink. Why do people get offended? I gotta go. We ain't done with our video. Oh my gosh. You also want to have a travel size comb and brush. Because like, how I have my ponytail right now, like, you know how I am. I hate when I got flyaways and all that. Like, oh, it make me mad. Oh, it make me mad. But I, I have an extra hair bag in my car right now. Yes. For situations like that. Yeah. I don't like it. And be getting in my way. I can't be sitting right. Because the bag Shut. is in my way, okay? Shut. It's full of hair gel, brushes, sprays, and oils. You don't want to be ashy either. You definitely need your travel size lotion. Oh, mommy. mommy travel has, size oil. Mommy has the travel size lotion. I'm still that. I got multiple. I buy you them. Where are they? The, the one you made me, I like, lost a bottle. Gil. And I use Um, You want your travel size hand sanitizer as well. They're everywhere. Literally, everything I'm naming is everywhere. They're everywhere. Also, everything that I'm naming, you can buy at Dollar General. Literally, everything that I'm naming. I literally mean from top to bottom. Draws included, pants included. You can buy all of this. At Dollar General and Family Dollar. And whatever y'all 99 cent store is. Alright, listen. 
for us hood girls, for the most part, we use hair gel, okay? There's some other people who use hair gel and shit too, but not like we do. Like we slicks our baby hairs down, all of that. Like that's hair gel, baby. So if you are a hood sister, you know, you should also have a travel size thing of gel. That's how you lay them flying ways down. But if you don't use hair gel, get some extra strength hairspray. Extra hold. It'll help. Um, you also want to have, especially if you're a makeup wearer, you want facial tissue. AKA Kleenex. They have travel size ones. Little packet, like little, little packet. Get you something to put in that bag. This is something else that could be outside of the bag and in the bag, okay? You could get a travel size thing of wipes. But I would have a big ass pack in my book bag too. Because again, Aunt Flo Conf, you feel dirty as hell after she just show up or some root shit. You feel dirty. So... I mean, you should be using baby wipes anyway when you go to the bathroom. I mean, like, common sense, wipe your ass really well. Some people don't. Some people come out smelling like shit. I mean, straight shit. Oh. Like, you ain't wipe your ass at all. Literally. And then, okay, I'm going to leave that alone. Yeah. My last recommendation, if you wear makeup, and around this age is when everybody start wearing a little bit makeup, you know. See, people get emotional when they on a period, they like literally be crying. You can walk past them wrong and they cry. So, put on some waterproof makeup so nobody know you cried. You don't want your mascara running down your eyeballs. It's hard. You should actually just wear it parent in school because you might be one of them kids that been bullied and shit. You be going in there crying or, or whatever. You don't want them bitches knowing you cry. So you just have you some waterproof makeup on. That way, uh, okay. these hoes don't know oh, they got the best okay. with you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. But it's hard to hide whenever... Um, you're crying because if someone sees you, they're like, oh my gosh, she's crying. Are you okay? And then they be all loud and stuff. Like, are you okay? And then someone else. Oh them. my gosh, she's crying. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Are you okay, baby? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. What's wrong? Like, and we're just sitting there. <laughs> Is you talking about the way I be telling you, you gonna be fine? Is that what we doing right now? You look really hideous. <laughs> but honestly, that's that's most of my recommendations. If I left anything out, put it in the comment section down below. Where that below. is. Where that is, though. You got to point where it is. Down below. It's down below. Um, Do you have anything else do you think that I should have in the little bag? small bag of talkies there's travel sized ones it comes in like this little thingy majigger like this and it could probably fit in like a family pack and then in your bag have a big bag thank you y'all let me tell y'all something about this one real quick let I me tell y'all something like. let me tell y'all something okay so, I just did a fill on this little girl's nails, okay? <sighs> Had to replace a couple. Which ain't bad for her, because normally, it'd be every other nail that's broken, if not the entire hand. And then one hand is just broken. Literally. So, let me tell you. So, I do this girl's fill, okay? 
Don't be hiding it. <laughs> I do her feel. Let me show them. No. On this hand. On this hand. I had to replace this nail and this nail. Look what is missing already. But, 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 I got an idea, okay? But this hand's fine. I don't feel like going to the truck because I know it's in the truck. I got, so I found one of my old nails, right? So what she can do is she can glue it on my hand, file it down, and paint it like this one. And boom. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, you, it could work. Or not. That's the end of my suggestions. If I forgot anything, y'all leave it in the comments down below. Drop it. Drop. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it for this. Did you learn something? I learned a lot. That one, my mom's weird. And that uh, too, I know how to do karate. Ha! All right. Anyway, so, uh, I'm gonna, old woman. I'm gonna put some um more informational educational videos up that's gonna be a little more detailed. I do need to do an organization video. I've actually been tweaking to do that video, so I'll be doing that soon. Neat freak. Side eye, me old woman. Give me a Tamar Braxton eye. <laughs> that just <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> 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 That's the end of this video. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I drop a new video. And yes, I mean, every time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in my next one. Deuces. Bye. <laughs> Say deuces. Bye. <laughs>